What is a stablecoin? There is one slight disadvantage to settling with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. For instance, you borrow 100 bucks from a friend and want to pay it back in crypto. How many Bitcoins do you need to transfer? Let's give a hint. Something around 0.000037 at a current rate. And it can also float, can't it? It is much more convenient to pay back the money with the cryptocurrency linked to fiat money. Borrowed 100, returned 100. There are such coins, they're called stable coins. How does this kind of crypto work? There are two types of stable coins, classic and algorithmic. Classic ones are backed by fiat currency, metals and securities. Such coins always have a centralized issuer who undertakes and to exchange them for dollars, euros or gold at a fixed rate. When stablecoin rate drops, it redeems it from the exchanges, raising the rate. If it rises too fast, it sells it to lower it. The rate of algorithmic stablecoins is maintained by protocols in smart contracts that burn some of the coins when the rate falls and issue new tokens when the rate rises. But because they are not backed by anything, their capitalization is relatively low and the exchange rate is not as stable. But they are not susceptible to manipulation by the issuer. But as with any crypto, problems can rise here and there. In May 2022, the algorithmic Terra USD fell with an incredible bang to just 2 cents. And in March 2023, the rate of the classic USD sank. Its issuer kept 3 billion in reserve in the collapsed Silicon Valley Bank. The moral is simple. Don't keep all your funds in one token. Even if it's very convenient, diversify. And keep all your private keys only on a cold wallet. For example, Tangent Wallet. This is the most reliable way to protect your cryptocurrency.